Welcome to battle number five of the FNF Victory Road Draft League. This is a battle between Detroit Dunsparces and Butcher Blissies. Detroit Dunsparces being led by Startoad, who is Startoad on Pokemon Showdown, and the Butcher Blissies being led by Fingered Witch, who is Asnoir on Pokemon Showdown. The uh, Z Pokemon that we have are... Zapdos, who could use attack Z moves, and Porygon Z, who could use any Z move. We might be able to see both of them today. And the Z moves for the Butcher Blissey's teams is, is Blissey with any Z move and Arcanine with attack Z moves. Also, we might be able to see one of those. Mega Swampert and Mega Altaria are the Mega Pokemon of this battle, respectively, and we will definitely be seeing both of those today. Uh, so... It seems like we have Rain once again on Sartoad's team. This time, instead of bringing Pelipper, he brought Politoed. Another fun fact, all the Pokemon on Sartoad's team appear to be female Pokemon, and on Butcher Blissey's all male except Blissey, which is 100% female. Um, just thought that was funny. And Porygon Z makes its first appear appearance, as well as Celesteela, with its uh, the new addition to... Sartoad's team. So uh, we might see some new tactics there. And then on Butcher Blissey's, we have Ditto appearing, Lycan Rock appearing for the first time, as well as Masquerain. And I think that what Butcher Blissey's is going to have to be aware of the strong water moves, especially with only Mega Altaria having water resistance. So I think that's going to be something to watch out for. Although Mega Altaria can take some electric moves. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm really curious to see if Masquerain will be able to set up. If it could set up, it could be pretty devastating with Giga Drain to take down Swampert. Uh, but Celesteela is definitely going to give it some trouble. Hydro Pump could actually be interesting for Masquerain if Rain goes up. Putting the Rain in Masquerain. And I'm curious to see what set Celesteela has, because Celesteela is very versatile in what it can do, having all-rounder stats and being able to pull off Leech Seed, uh, can go physical, can go special, can go defensive in both ways. All right, and here comes Galvantula versus Kiyotaka. Not a good place for Galvantula to be for sure, because it could take a strong fire move there. And out comes Politoed with Drizzle, taking measly damage from a Flare Blitz. And comes Glitzy the Blissey taking a Toxic. However, if Blissey has Natural Cure, it really won't care about Toxic. And Politoed's going to protect- Ooh, Blissey uses Thunder, taking advantage of the rain! Interesting! That is a very interesting strategy, I really like that. Using the opponent's rain against them. And out comes Swamper, it's going to be immune to the Thunder, and set up really poised here to take advantage of that rain with Swift Swim. And Swamper goes for the Stealth Rock. Blissey goes for Blizzard. And the rain is now gone. Blissey low on health, dying to an Earthquake. And out comes Masquerain, taking massive damage from the Stealth Rock. But Intimidate is going to make Swamper a little weaker. Masquerain being the Mask of Red. Galvantula is sent out, taking a Giga Drain from Masquerain. Galvantula poised here to deal some big damage with an electric type move. Yalta, the Mega Altaria, comes in, takes a strong 
thunder. Wow, that thunder did big damage. And we have Mega Altaria now, but it, even resisting the thunder, it goes down. In comes Arcanine, intimidating Galvantula, trying to go for a Flare Blitz most likely, however, Politoed might be a switch-in for that. And indeed, Politoed is the switch-in, taking that Flare Blitz. Arcanine goes for Sunny Day, weakening Scald. Really interesting strategy to mess up rain. And Arcanine goes for a Solar Beam, but Politoed is able to scout it out and will be able to switch in accordingly. And indeed, Celesteela is the one to come in, taking a Solar Beam very easily. Flare Blitz will probably be the move that Celesteela goes for. I mean, that, sorry, that Arcanine goes for against Celesteela. Politoed comes out, setting up rain once again. Taka goes for that sunny day, however, Politoed goes down. Tough situation for Butcher Blissies. Out comes Masquerade. And Masquerade goes for a Giga Drain. However, Politoed goes for Skulls. Doesn't do that much damage. Celesteela comes in, taking that Giga Drain really easily. Celesteela being very resistant to those grass type moves. And out comes Ditto Meat. <laughs> Celesteela goes for the substitute, but now Ditto knows exactly what Celesteela wants to do. And Meat goes for Leech Seed, however, it is not going to affect the substitute. And Mondo the Lycan Rock comes out, taking a Leech Seed. And out comes Ditto once again, taking a Flash Cannon. Oh, and Celesteela's Beast Boost raises its special attack, which means it has special attack investment. Not a good position for Mondo the Lycan Rock. Mondo goes down to a flash cannon from Celesteela. And Masquerade comes out, dying to the Stealth Rock with a 6 0 victory for Star Toad. There are some really interesting strategies that Butcher Blissey's tried to utilize, such as Sunny Day to disrupt the rain and Blissey's Thunder to take advantage of the rain, but uh, Startoad was able to really dance around that by using Politoed's Drizzle, uh, switching Politoed in and out to be able to take advantage of that Drizzle. So Celesteela, also he's showing Celesteela as a strong addition to his team for having that defensive capability and really resisting the grass moves that threaten Politoed and Swampert. Uh, the Masquerain, Masquerain was poised to do some cool things, however, Stealth Rock really hampers Masquerain's usefulness, so perhaps a Rapid Spinner or Defogger to get rid of those Stealth Rocks would have helped. But good battle, and one of the last of week four. We still have a couple battles coming up, so tune in next time. This is Noel from Mystical Chain, and I'll see you then.